Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about the Digital Opportunity Center. Digital Opportunity Center is developed to help local people to not only bridge their digital divide, but also create their digital opportunity for them. And this mission can only be accomplished by proper development strategies. So here in this section, we are going to tell you a story in Taiwan that how can we transform a remote area called Lala San into a pioneer of e-business through the establishment of Digital Opportunity Center. So when you are using information technology, we realize that information systems are at the crossroads. When many people continue using information technology, you have to recognize that there are certain problems for pe people's incapability of using ICT technologies. There are some kinds of left behind. So leaders should think of questions such as, what is the role of information technology in today's business environment? And how can we use internet to transform business and governments? And how can we make those who really need ICT but incapable of getting it can actually benefit from the development of the ICT technology? There are problems called digital divide that can be recognized when we are developing applications on the ICT technology. The problem is, there are so many people that really need the help of ICT technology. But in the real world, they are the people incapable of getting the help from the ICT technology. Digital divide was first discussed in a report of US Department of Commerce. The term refers to a gap that exist between groups regarding their ab ability on using information and communication technologies effectively. So when we have encountered the problem with digital divide, by nature, we will try to help those people by dividing ICT technology to them. Oh, by delivering ICT technology to them, sorry. And then, by bridging the digital divide, we'll create more opportunity for those people. So the main strategy was quite obvious, that you should promote information literacy for those people. And to find out ways that can really improve or enrich those people's living style. So about 10 years ago, government of Taiwan decide to solve the problem of digital divide in our country. The first case we have encountered is located in a remote area called Lala San. Lala San is located in Fuxin Township of Taoyuan County. It is the most remote area of Fuxin Township and its total population is around 2,200 with over 60% is the Aboriginal people. Lala San at that time was regarded as the township, hometowns of peach. The peaches is their main agricultural resources. But at the moment, they encountered serious problems because peach selling was very unstable income sources. In year 2000, the average income for each household from peach, peach sellings was about $200,000. That was considered very low income level in Taiwan's standard. And most of it 
40% of the household, many the indigenous families, were with the low to medium income levels. In the year 2003, people who live in Lala San area encountered serious problems because 70% of the Lala San family cannot pay their children's school lunch, even though school lunch is very cheap in Taiwan. Most of the farmers were thinking about switching to another line of business due to the unstable income. But then we have tried to lead them into ICT technology by establishing Digital Opportunity Center for them. After two years of hard working, in year 2005, farmers in Lala San area earned almost $400,000 and more. And the number was doubled compared with the earning in year 2000. So it has been proven to be a great successful story for cases on bridging digital divide. The reason that we can dramatically increase income level is because through the development of digital opportunity, a development of digital opportunity center in Lala San areas, we have successfully transformed those farmers into e-commerce marketers. So let's see the video to find out how it works in Lala San. 接下来看其他的消息这是在六月中又到了水蜜桃的成熟季节今年拉拉山的农家小朋友主动帮爸爸妈妈卖起水蜜桃不知道怎么卖呢答案是靠网路他们在中原大学职工的协助下化身网路高
all of them have been equipped computer classroom and we share those information resources with local residents. And a group of students from Zhongyuan Christian University offer free lessons for using computers and the internet. But what happened is that farmers were not enthusiastic about it. Usually, those farmers hope their children to have the opportunity to learn to use the computer and the internet. But they did not realize why. So it was obvious that they did not want to learn computers and the internet by themselves. So we realized that farmers didn't believe in ICT technology or internet. So what happened was that our Digital Opportunity Center were not welcomed by the local people. Most of them, Digital Opportunity Center was used as playgrounds that youngsters went there and played video games. So in order to solve the problems, in year 2003, a group of students from the Department of Information Management, Zhongyuan Christian University, was sent to Lalasan area to, to study the problem of these Lalasan farmers. On their report, the student had summarized four main reasons. First of all, they realized that growing peaches is not very easy. Peaches are good for only short of times. That is why they cannot sell their peaches very well. And at the same time, to deliver peaches from Lalasan to the metropolitan areas depends on those middlemen. So usually the farmers cannot sell their peaches for a higher price. And farmers are not willing to promote the quality of the fruit because even though they can produce better quality peaches by putting a lot of efforts, but they usually could not sell it for a better price. So why bother to do that? And the last reason for them to get into crisis is that they have to compete with counter fraud because low price peaches were import from other place and will compete with Lala and peaches in the market. Most of them can claim that they are from Lala San too. So that is the reasons that create disasters for Lala San areas, which made 70% of elementary school students cannot pay their school lunch. In order to solve the problem, the student from CYCU proposed an idea that, hey, why not selling pitches through the internet? Selling online means no storage, so possible losses is declined. Selling online let customers enjoy the freshest fruit, so the quality can be better. Selling online decreased the delivery cost by elim eliminating the middleman. Direct sales model established a direct connection between farmers and their customers. So if quality of the product increased, then the customers are more than happy to buy more to enjoy the better quality peaches. And selling online will help to compete with counter fraud. So that is the main reason that we try to use Digital Opportunity Center to transform those traditional farmer into e-marketers. At the beginning, we knew those people need ICT technology and assumed they knew that too. But the problem was they didn't. Most of people in Alasan area do not think that their problem can be solved by adopting the ICT technology. So the first strategy we try to do is to find out the life improvement applications, which in Lala San area, that means peach selling. So with the peach selling business, we can create demand for the ICT technology instead of just pro providing information technology and trainings, which for those Aboriginal people, they haven't know why they need to this kind of things. 
In Allison's case, we decided to sell peaches online in year 2003 and promised to sell at least $3 million of sales. After our commitment, farmers were convinced and started to engage in our business. And the second strategy is we try to integrate government resources. Traditionally, a lot of resources have been put into Lalasan areas. But one problem is they are not integrated with each other. So all these efforts, even though they can create some kind of benefit, those efforts cannot put together and form an integrated full function business model for farmers in Narasan areas. So in this case, we try to choose government agents to cooperate all the government effort in Narasan areas. In the central government, the leader is the Research, Development and Evaluation Commission from our cabinet. And in local of Larasan areas, Taoyuan County government is responsible for integration integrations. There are a lot of different government resources located in Larasan areas. First of all, Zhonghua Telecom provides facility of broadband communications. National Youth Commission provide volunteers to provide trainings in Narasan area. And also, we have Ministry of Economic Affairs. They use their project to promote e-commerce for small and medium-sized enterprises in Narasan areas. And we have Tourism Promotion Bureau of Taoyuan County. Promote Narasan cases in their Narasan peach seasons. And Fuxin Township Farmers Association helped to solve the home delivery problems. The third strategy is we have to set up a digital opportunity center for public access. Most of people be believe that the reason for us to set up a digital opportunity center is for people to use the computers. But we realized in our cases, it is not the only reasons. Because we realized that people would prefer to use computer at home. In the year 2002, after we established computer classroom in elementary school, in year 2003, we had internet access to every household at home. And we also installed computers for them. Even though now people can use their computer at home, we realized that we still need Digital Opportunity Center for public access. Why? Because in the DOC, people can come together, teach each other, and learn from each other, and share their experience. So it is very important for us, even though everybody on their own computer and access to internet, we still need a public information station like a DOC, because Humans come from family and desire to belong to a certain group. So it is very important for them to go to somewhere and they are people who can help them to solve their problem. So they can talk to each other and learn from each other. For the fourth strategy is link up with local resources. To transform a traditional farmer into a pioneer in e-marketing, require a lot of resources. And it's almost impossible that those resources can be provided only by the government. Because Dala San is located in such a remote area, it is quite unlikely that government can deliver those resources all the way to the site. So to get help from the locals is very important. In Dala San case, we have two local resources that were used to help us to accomplish our mission. The first is tourism enterprise in Nalasan areas. Nalasan is a very famous tourist site for Taiwanese. So there are some small and medium-sized tourism business located in Nalasan area. 
those people have higher level of literacy of computers. So they can help to teach those farmers. And they can also share their internet access with farmers. So how can we convince them to join in our programs? You see, when we started to sell in peaches on the internet, the campaign will make Lala San area more attractive areas for most of, most of people in Taiwan. So for tourist business, it is very easy for them to integrate their business with peach selling business so that they can have some tour offered to Taiwanese. For example, tourists can visit La La San area and enjoy delicious peach here. And when they go home, they will come to the website and buy those peaches again. So we have integrated their operations and create more profit for both the peach farmer and the tourism business. So the local tourism business are very happy to provide those services and share their internet with those farmers. And there is another kind of local resources, that is the religious groups. Most of the farmers are pious Christians. So most of the, most of the time, they will follow the instruction of their priest. So the first thing, first place we had to go when we start our projects was the churches. And we had convinced the priest to help the project for us. So with the help from churches, our activity become one of the tasks for the whole community. For everyone want to put their effort into our project, not only because they can help themselves, to earn more money. But also, they consider it is a duty for every member in the Alasan community because with the help of these two major local resources, we provide needed resources successfully for our projects. And the last strategy we want to do is to cooperate with private groups. Well, Government is always lack of enough resources to accomplish what they want to do for the Alasan area or any remote areas. So the private groups, that is the business or nonprofit organizations, is very important. In this case, we have integrated certain enterprises into the project. For example, OKWAP and Compare Computers had provided computers for our project and Soji.com help us to promote our pictures on internet. And from the welfare of those nonprofit organizations, for example, we have the Aboriginal Community University in Alasan provide facilities for trainings. And the Yuren Foundation and Rotary groups from Taoyuan County, they have provided the needed financial resources that was used to establish internet connections to every household in Alasan areas. With the help of two web, two web models, we then successfully implement a new business model for farmers in Alasan areas. The model worked like this. The student from CYCU established the website for farmers. And on the website, the disabled people who are lack of income will operate the website and receive the orders from customers and process the order for us. The only thing the farmers have to do is to provide delicious speeches. So then the profit generate will benefit both the farmers and the disabled people. The new business model is a great success because in the past, to sell a box of peaches the middleman will charge more than $250 at least. And now we can save the money from $250 to $20 because now the disabled will charge only $20 for their service from the farmers. And then in the past, 
the customer have to wait more than four days to get the peaches. But now it can be delivered within 24 hours. So they can taste the freshest peach in the market. With the correct strategy that was used in Nalasan area, the result was quite remarkable because now we have established a digital firm in Nalasan area, which was delivered as a mission, in, which, which was believed as a mission impossible in the past. Now, multiple organizations can work together for farmers in Nalasan areas. And we have so many different kinds of professionals can integrate it together to accomplish our new business model. Even though most of the people in our teams are inexperienced members, and those members have to work in different areas for a 24 hours based business, but still, they can function very well. Because now, all these people, all those problems can be solved with the help of the ICT technology. So by using our website and telecom technologies, we can link all those people together and make sure everybody play their proper role. So to operate a di digital opportunity center is not operating a computer classroom. You can do more than computers. You can use those facility to help local people to, uh, to establish new business model so they can be prosperous in this internet era. So it is our case about Dalasan. Thank you for your listening. Thank you.